All right, so my name is Attila Nagy from uh, Gamax Labo Laboratory Solutions and uh, thank you for everyone for coming to today's uh, uh, presentation which will be a short 30 minutes uh, presentation uh, about designing electrical systems and devices and uh, how we do it in a simulation with a live demonstration of uh, the multi-physics modeling tools in COMSOL and uh, we are also going to give you information about uh, electric and magnetic flux, magnetic hyst uh, hysteresis, uh, circuits and uh, coils as well and uh, you will also be able to see some example applications as well and at the end of the presentations we are going to have a short uh, Q&A where uh, you could type in your questions and uh, my colleague Arpad Forberger is going to give uh, the answers and the examples as well. So let me just give you the word Arpad uh, who is our application engineer at uh, Gamax Laboratory Solutions. Thank you for the introduction. Welcome everyone to this webinar on modeling coils and electric devices. Uh, my name is Arpad Forberger, one of the application engineers at the company and today we are going to take a look at the basics of how COMSOL is used for coil and AC-DC simulation. I will walk us through some models to give you a chance to see the software up close and see how it might help you in your work. If you have never used COMSOL before and you want to learn it how it works, my presentation today should help answer those questions. First, I want to give you a quick rundown on how numerical simulation and application design work in COMSOL Multiphysics and what kind of coils are available there. Then some more words on magnetic, magnetic hysteresis and some optimization examples covering also coils. And at the very end, I will <coughs> mention some further resources where you can find more information including full-length webinars that contain more technical detail than what we will have time for today. Today's presentation is really meant to be a quick intro to what the software is, but we have many resources available if you are interested in learning more afterward. COMSOL is a multi-physics modeling simulation and application design environment where all of the steps of a simulation are integrated in the one user interface from the initial setup to the solvers to post-processing to putting together a custom-built application. A console model allows you to couple together physical effects the way they are in the real world, which we refer to as multi-physics. The model we will look today solves for current and voltage-driven coils and transformer and other electronic devices. Once you have completed your simulation in COMSOL, the software allows you to create a customized app from the model, which enables you to deploy the analysis capabilities and results to collaborators, customers, or even colleagues around the world. This is our product suite. We have add-on products that can be combined with the COMSOL Multiphysics core package to enable simulation of specific physics phenomena across a range of application areas. These can all be combined with each other. We have modules for electrical, fluid, heat, mechanical, acoustics and chemical simulations as well as several multipurpose modules and tools for interfacing with external software. COMSOL is very flexible, it contains many predefined physics interfaces but also allows you to define your own custom physics and equations. And today we are focusing on the ACDC module with the optimization module and the material library will be used as well. We have several different components to the COMSOL software. Right now we are looking at the model builder in the COMSOL desktop which we will see live in a few minutes. The model builder contains the tools for controlling physics, mesh, materials and study settings as well. 
highlighted in this image is the section of the ribbon that gives you access to the application builder portion of the console desktop which contains the tools for building a customized user interface around your model or what we call an application. Because as I mentioned earlier, once you are finished with the simulation you may want to be able to share the results with a colleague or a customer without sharing your entire model. The application builder will let you build this user interface around your simulation. Then to share it with someone who doesn't have console installed on their machine, you would use a local installation of the console server which makes the app accessible either through a console client or a web browser. What's really powerful about this is that the person you share the application with doesn't actually need to have a background in console, numerical simulation or the relevant physics. For instance, you might share it with a colleague who doesn't have your modeling knowledge, but who can use your app to run quick virtual tests and check different designs. Today we will look into some coils with different features, including a single turn coil in 2D and in 3D. There are several cases that you can model here, 2D or 3D. Then we will look into some multi-turn coils in 2D and in 3D domains as well. And it's a choice of your application, what you would like to use. In a single conductor coil there are different ways how you can define. It can be an open type, a closed type, series connected, using symmetry, then you can use homogenized multi-turn coils, a linear coil or a circular coil, it can be a numeric coil and you can use symmetry conditions as always and it can be a user-defined coil, coil. Or you could use the lumped port boundary condition to define your coils in console multiphysics in different ways. Today's example cover a walkthrough of coils, the physics and study settings, a multi-turn coil in 3D, how you can model hysteresis, how you can model a transformer with an external circuit, and how you can use optimization tools inside Comsol Multiphysics to create a smooth solution across various coils. And now I'll go into Comsol Multiphysics to give you a live demonstration on how you can set up coils in 3D. So first we start with the model wizard where we select the space dimension which we will use a 3D component. Then in the next step you can select what kind of physics you would like to model and we would like to use the magnetic fields physics interface for this purpose. And then when you go to the study node Comsol will tell you automatically what, what kind of studies are available and relevant for your physics you previously selected. Then here we will use a simple stationary solver. For the geometry I will import it to a previous sequence. Yeah, so yeah. I will use this here. This is our geometry. We can look into that. So we have the surrounding air and we have the two circular coils that we will use in the physics. For the surrounding sphere we will add the layer to mimic infinite volume. Well, we will use this in finite domain and in Comsol we can select that it will mimic the surrounding air. Then we can assign materials, so we can assign air because that's the surrounding fluid and we can assign copper as well to the coils. Then we can select the domain that we want to use for copper domains here.
So we have air as a surrounding fluid and we have copper with the two circles. Then inside the magnetic fields physics interface we can select the coil domain condition and we can select each circular domain one by one. So this will be our first coil. It is a homogenized multi-turn coil. You can select this way and we can say that it's a circular type okay the excitation is current excitation but if you would like you can use voltage or you can connect to an external circuit okay and then we can select inside the geometry the direction of the flow how the current is flowing in our domain okay and we can simply duplicate this coil to set up the second coil which will be the other circular design here inside our air domain and we can select the four adjacent edges to define the flow of our current inside the coils and now we defined our two coils inside our computational domain for a better look, we can hide some of the surfaces to look into the model so we can get a better look into our geometry. So now we are set up, we have set up the two coils in the same domain and we have set up the materials, air for the surrounding fluid and copper for the coils and we have set up a so-called infinite element domain to mimic the infinitely big surrounding air in our computational domain and instead of Cartesian we can select that it's a spherical type okay and in the magnetic fields interface we can enable physics control mesh it gives you a very nice and clean mesh regarding what kind of physics you would like to simulate here and now we can calculate the problem set up here in the simple stationary solver and for post-processing results we can set up a simple cross-section to show the streamlines of the magnetic flux density this plot is generated automatically but we can generate much more with quite simple steps so first we will create a cut plane parallel with the XY plane and then we can plot some streamlines in this plane using a 3D plot group and we want to plot a streamline but in a surface instead of the full volume okay we simply select cut plane and we can plot so these are the streamlines and if you want we can add some coloring based on any expression that we could use the built-in the default variable which is the magnetic flux density norm and if you want you can change this to a tube to make it much more sophisticated looking plot here so this is the final solution for our very nice and very first coil it's a so-called Helmholtz coil in Comsol Multiphysics if you want you can add much more study nodes here we use the stationary solver but you could use frequency domain if you are interested in frequency sweeps solutions other type of coils can be like a spiral instead of using coil excitations we can use other type of boundary conditions to define coils in Compson motor physics so this is our next setup so we have a spiral geometry which is connected through these two thin layers and here in the fields, in the magnetic fields physics interface you can see that now we are using a so-called lumped port boundary condition instead of the coil domain and now we are using the voltage excitation instead of, instead of current excitation and if we go to the results section we can see the magnetic flux density plot which looks like this way and as you can see we have an eigenfrequency solver so we are 
using uh, 50 Hz as the excitation frequency and we can plot the current density norm as well on the surface and on the volume as well so this is the nice plot of this kind of geometry you can use arbitrary geometry in Compson multiphysics speed arbitrary cross sections there is no limitation on what kind of coil or electric device you would like to use here you can also connect coils serial and this next example covers that one so that's another solution that you could do inside Compson so we have several coils as you can see here they are connected series and you can connect them by applying the appropriate boundary conditions under the coil subnode here so under coil 1 geometry analysis you can select which surface is the input of your coils connected series and you can select which one is the output surface and then you can simply connect the boundaries by pairs so that's how it looks like inside a coil subdomain inside Compson Multiphysics and if we go to the results section we can have the same default plots like the magnetic flux density here which is one one of the most exciting plots here and of course we could plot the current flow through our coils connected in series so you can see the distribution of the current density norm on our <coughs> volumes you can also model hysteresis and this next example I would like to show you covers this one it's a benchmark model it's uh, one quarter of the full geometry so we have a um, laminated e-core and we have two coils as you can see here but if you go to the physics interface you can see much closer so we have coil 1 on the right hand side and we have coil 2 on the left hand side and we have this core which is defined by this hysteresis model so you can use this kind of hysteresis modeling inside Compson Multiphysics and the coils we can go here they are the same homogenized multi-turn coils that we use at the first example and we have a sign excitation so these are the two coils that are connected to into our e-core and if we go to the results section we can see the current flowing through in our coils it's a time dependent simulation we can see the hysteresis curve here you can see here you, the magnetic flux density versus the magnetic field component at the selected time frame and if you want you can create an animation based on these results so if you want with just a few clicks you can set up an animation and show how your results how the magnetic flux is changing over time since it's a time dependent problem and you can visualize this quite easily you can play this inside console or you can export if you would like to use externally and the next example I would like to show you it's an optimization problem sometimes you would like to use some optimization techniques to make the field as homogeneous as possible and here in this figure you can see that through this center line through this green center line we would like to homogenize the magnetic field as much as possible by changing the geometrical <coughs> displacements of these coils so the problem setup is as follows so we have these turns we have these coils they are connected and we want to drive them with the same current but we would like to change the Z displacements, the positions of these coils in order to get homogeneous magnetic field inside the center line and for this purpose we will use the built-in optimization algorithms inside Compson Multiphysics to do this so here we combine the magnetic fields interface with an optimization module 
as I mentioned previously, you can combine them without any limitations. The physics interface is quite simple. Due to symmetry reasons, we can reduce the field and reduce the computational costs of the model. Here we have one coil. They belong to the same coil group, so we can select that they are in a coil group because we would like to excite and drive them with the same current. That's the physics interface, that's quite simple. The optimization node is here. We have an integral objective, which is valid here in the center line. As you have seen previously in the example, we would like to get a homogeneous magnetic field here in this 10 cm long way. And here we have this objective expression, which means that we have a desired value B0 and we capture and calculate the current value at every time step and we would like to minimize the difference between the desired value and the captured and calculated value and we use these scaling factors to scale the values close to one due to numerical precision reasons and we have control variables that the solver can change these are the five parameters of the coils so we can change the z geometry distances of the coils and other control variable is the current which has a lower bound of zero and an i max which is 20 amps that's the upper bound so the optimization algorithm can change the current flowing through the coils and it can change the z displacements of the coils as well and for this we use another interface which is the deformed geometry interface it will move our coils in the z direction to get as much homogeneous magnetic field in the center line as possible the problem is solved and you can see the results here so here you have see the red dots along that 10 centimeter center line and you can see that we capture the desired value pretty much so the desired values are selected by those red dots and the calculated and the captured results are the blue is the blue line so we are pretty close what we wanted to achieve and for the final result we can plot the actual <coughs> positions of the coils and as you can see the coils initial position have been changed due to the deformed geometry interface and thanks to the optimization algorithm that can freely move each coil in order to get as much homogeneous magnetic field as possible. So you can combine any multipurpose modules like the optimization module with any physics interface like the magnetic fields interface that can be used inside the ACDC module and there are much more ways <coughs> how you can do coil simulations inside Comsol Multiphysics. So that wraps up my demo. If you are interested in learning more about Comsol Multiphysics or trying out the software, <coughs> the best place to is to look at our website. Uh, we will distribute the slides and the recording shortly so you can get the uh, quick look where you can find more information on this. So for this webinar I would like to make a summary of what we have seen here. We have seen different coils with different boundary conditions, how you can couple them and how you can set up boundary conditions, then what kind of magnetic hysteresis is available, how you can do this inside Comsol Multiphysics and how you can use the optimization algorithm to create let's say a homogeneous magnetic field distribution inside the computational domain. And if you would like to contact, I suggest to visit our website or write us directly for me or for Attila who is the sales representative and if you are interested in trying out the software you can access a free trial, an evaluation trial, so you can try yourself what you can do and what the software is capable for. We also have several handbooks and white papers on our websites, so they cover more specialized topics. Okay.
and uh, if you have any questions I'm more than glad to answer those so we have some minutes till we finish our webinar so feel free to type in the chat window and we can answer them or you can write us later directly that's also possible we have one question here which covers some coupling to acoustics phenomena so is it possible to calculate to take into account the noise generated by these rotating machines um, thank you for the question so we have some blogs as well some built-in models for this kind of calculations so if you visit our website or Comsol's blog and you search for so in the search field you search for let's say induction motor then you can find some results here covering applications or covering some of our blogs and one blog calculates and takes into account this kind of calculation and it's here so you can find some more information on our blogs covering these topics here more than one physics is introduced so here the ACDC module is coupled to multibody dynamics module because we want to take into account the accelerations of the full 3D geometry and the acoustics and the acoustics module is also coupled to the predefined interfaces to calculate the sound pressure level, the generated sound pressure surrounded by air in our computational domain okay uh, other questions will be answered later because we need more complexity to answer those so thank you for listening everyone I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day